Hi, I'm Rhonda. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, I'm going to show you a fantastic recipe. It's Mexican chicken. Uh, beautiful flavors. I've had Mexico inspire me on the flavors. I've got here beautiful chicken breasts. They're about six ounces each. Organic. Get them from Fenwood Farms, by the way. They got awesome chicken there. I've got some yogurt. This is the base of my marinade for this dish. It's going into the bowl. With this marinade, I'm putting some minced garlic that I minced a little bit earlier. Goes right into the marinade. Thyme. Thyme is beautiful. The f flavors and the smell, especially the smell. This is one of my most favorite herbs to work with and it does go beautiful with chicken so don't be afraid and use lots of it. It's not a really super strong flavor so don't be shy with it. Uh, I'm putting the thyme in and Mexican chili. Really hot and spicy. Now this dish as being inspired from Mexico is actually incredibly spicy so uh, keep that in mind when you're making it. You can back off a bit on the chili. Uh, also to add to the heat on here, I am doing jalapeno peppers. I'm just rough chopping them and they're going to go right into that marinade. This will bring a lot of heat. So again, as I said, if it's too much for you, you know what, you don't even have to use the jalapeno if you don't want to. Uh, you'll still get a lot of heat with the chili. But um, I like heat so I'm going in with the whole thing. Now this is going right in, okay? It's going to marinate. This is great because you can do this before you go to work in the morning. You can do it 24 hours before, the night before, doesn't matter. Let this sit, let it marinate. Uh, when you're marinating, by the way, you have to use a glass container. You cannot use aluminum. You want nothing to oxidize this meat here. So there you go. It's just going like that. I'm going to saran wrap it. It's going to go into the fridge. I'm going to leave it overnight and tomorrow I'll get back to it. The next part to this recipe is the breading. It's a beautiful easy breading. What I've used in this particular one is corn chips. Make sure on your corn chips, really, really important. Read the ingredients. Again, it has to be 100% corn, no wheat in it. Some of them do actually have wheat. Uh, cheddar cheese, I'm using old cheddar on this. I grated it. Quinoa. Quinoa, again, awesome. It's a full protein. It's very packed with fiber. It gives a nice texture and a nice, actually, it brings up the uh, nutritional value of what we're doing here. I've got two limes that are going in. So I've crunched the chips into the bowl. Really simple. Just like that. Get her all crunched up. You can use a food processor with this. You don't need to use your hands if you don't want to. Get that in there. I'm mixing in with it the cheese. Just going right in just like that. The quinoa as well, right in. Now the lime, I'm zesting it, okay? You take it and just get your zest right off. Don't worry about the juice. The juice can be used at a later date for something else. All I'm looking for is that nice strong lime flavor. And incidentally, the flavor does come from the skin and not so much from the juice. So there you go. That's going right in. Now I'm just mixing this all up. My chicken's been marinating for quite a while now. It's ready to go in here. Uh, keep in mind, when it comes out with the marinade, you don't need all that flavor on here, okay? I'm scooping her off. The flavor's actually already sticking to this. This is going in. It's a bit of a messy job, so when you're doing it, try to use one wet hand, one dry. On top, I take my crumbs, and I'm just patting it. It's patting down just like that. The other side, I'm going to add a little bit more to it. Again, just patter up like that. Shake off your excess. I've sprayed this tray right here with a cooking spray so it won't stick. Now the oven's been preheated at 400 degrees. It's going to be a very high heat, but I want it that way. It's going to help crisp the chicken up. It's going to go into the oven for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm taking it out. I'm going to flip it over because the browning actually happens on the touching side. So now we're going to flip her over. It goes back in for another 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, it's coming out of the oven. This is one delicious supper. You know, make some nice rice, brown rice with it. Um, salsa, definitely salsa. Pick a really pretty platter, something Mexican. I've chosen one with peppers on it. Salsa, fantastic with it. Do a green salad, you have a complete meal. And this is start to finish, 25 minutes. That's it, so it's perfect. This is Rhonda. Thanks for watching. We're on Wednesday nights. See you next time.